welcome to season five of How Now. This being April, we are celebrating poetry. There is poetry everywhere. And since it's a rainy day today, out here in Buffalo, I thought I would share with you a rainy day poem by William Carlos Williams. So much depends upon the red wheel barrel glazed with rainwater beside the white chickens. How can black people write about flowers at a time like this? Dear reader, with our heels digging into the good mud at a swamp's edge, you might tell me something about the dandelion head and how it is not a flower itself, but a plant made up of many small flowers at its crown. And Lord knows, I have been called by what I look like more than I have been called by what I actually am. And I wish to return the favor for the purpose of this exercise, which, too, is an attempt at fashioning something pretty out of seeds refusing to make anything worthwhile of their burial. Size me up and skip whatever semantics arrive to the tongue first. Say, that boy, he looked like a hollowed-out grandfather clock. He looked like a million-dollar god with a two-cent heaven. Like all it takes is one kiss, and before morning, you could scatter his whole mind across a field. In the museum is a collection of human skulls. There are 139 in total. To help with the upkeep, you can adopt one for the low price of $200. All body parts are metaphors, just as our flowers and fruit, either saccharine or something soft thrown at your head, depending on the poem. I can't find the word for slipping a ring off a finger, but that is what you do to me. All the loose objects shrug off. Ask my lungs and lavender bruises Ask my soft, naked rot. I refuse to let my heart be a symbol of this. My heart is not a ghost, or an eggshell, or the sea. It is not a motorcycle sitting in a field full of cosmos. I have not left it with anyone. It is not across the world or the country. It's still what it's always been. Crushed earth in an oak chest. Violets growing in my head. There is a small yellow part of me that wants to keep digging, a sharp little slice, a toenail clipping size worth of wishing we were capable of holding such a wet thing. But our liaison isn't buying green bananas. It's different shades of brick and vine beneath the nails, scratch marks. If you need a reminder, you can always ask yourself, out of 10, how in love are you with your sadness? What bones will you leave behind for someone else to tend? Fatigue Performance Tonight, the wind is in your voice. And the gods are nervous about the drinking water. Someone hijacks the background with three simple dance moves. Or maybe the clouds paused on the television set during a ball game. The silence inside the photograph of you eating alone in an old yearbook. This is going to be over before you know it, but not before your hands become small birds in celebration of the present snow, an expressed panic attack of harmonics. It's like listening to your heartbeat in a club, all the lights off, all by yourself. Noah, thank you so much, you know, for, for joining us here uh, in this beautiful setting of your choice. It's a delight. Um, it is my choice to you know, sit down here yeah. amongst the birds and the Amongst nature. the birds and the, you know, the beautiful Japanese knotweed. 
Um, <laughs> it's my favorite place in Buffalo. It's your favorite place in Buffalo. It has been since I moved here. Why is this your favorite place in Buffalo? I think it just gives me a certain feeling inside mm -hmm. that no other place does. You know, like I'm, and like I'm being serious. Like yeah, I, think, I know. You know, know, you show up, you come down, and this is pre-Duende, before the bar, um, you know, where it was sort of, there was sort of more of a Wild West feeling to it. Yeah. And, it, you know, you, you came down, and I know people came down here and broke in and spray painted and had wild times as young people, but like coming down here as, you know, <laughs> starting a reading series down here was um felt really special and i think like allowing people from out of town to come here and yeah. experience that for the first time because yeah. i think that's the thing when, like when they come here for the first time like it's there's no place like this so the silo city reading series is the series that you you're referring to that's right yeah yeah just buffalo's silo city reading series we were going into nine years last year when we canceled Nine years, really? It's been nine years. 2013, we did our first one with Joe Hall. Wow. Um, he had a book release. We did it in Perot at that point. Yeah. Before it started smelling like mildew and whatever. Detritus of, of the bygone was, industrial I, innovation. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but we, you know, we, at, at that first one, and it still tried to carry on that, that sense of like having like an art party in a grain silo. Yeah, totally, dude. And it's been these visiting art these visiting poets with yeah. the local scene yeah so that's giving them a so taste that, of that so that's so that's the concept right the concept, that's the concept the concept is a multidisciplinary evening of an art party inside a grain silo you know with poetry at with poetry at the heart that's right you know cuz we're celebrating april as poetry uh, national poetry month national poetry month but really national poetry month is every month I think that, you know, taking time to, you know, view things poetically is like one of the most important, you know, gifts that reading poetry and kind of existing within a poetic view of life is, is you know, it's very, very noteworthy. It's, I mean, it's, something, it's, a, it's a life to strive for, you know? It is, and I think that poetry is one of those art forms is one of the only art forms that can sort of stop time. Yeah. And can relocate you to a time uh, in a way anybody can sort of step into it and be relocated. Do you think that uh, lyricism and, and um, like songwriting or uh, hip hop do you think that that is a, a poetic expression or absolutely yeah absolutely yeah. i think that any consideration of language um written down recited performed um is a form of poetry that's a form of poetry yeah and i think you know poetry to me is such a vast word like like definition like i think yeah. that yeah you have you know the the poem on the page but i think the poetry is sort of scary in some ways because it's it has that academic tag on it all the time and, and can be like i don't understand it i'm not going to understand this poem because yeah. i didn't go to school yeah or i didn't like it or i and i think that the the music part of that where lyri lyricists um are considered poets yeah opens that up opens up that definition but i think poetry is also in how you participate in the world yeah and you know um and a lot of that is like taking time to look at things and taking time to consider things and mm -hmm. all things like nature and otherwise people who aren't like you i think there's an empathetic um you know chord in all of poetry too where it's like it invites anybody to sort of participate in it you know the the poets who are you know emulate like the beat poets and and you know the Taylor Mollies and the and the Buddy Wakefields of the world are are they you know it's good craft sort of like the performance it's, spoken yeah, word yeah it's good craft but it's like I mean I where think, where's the transcendent mo like I, I don't know where's the transcendence no, I, you know I think again I'm not I don't want to like judge schools of 
schools of thinking or schools of performance or writing mm -hmm. on this because I think that you know if people are finding it and engaging with it in their own way mm -hmm. that's cool you know and I think that that's another thing with art in general is like I think you can sort of find something that you gravitate towards yeah and and find more and more out of it out of it as time grows or as you grow yeah and return to it with fresh eyes in a way that's gonna speak to you more yeah um and i think the best poems you know those the poems that i are thrown in the anthologies and um and people live with and they're taught in high schools and in some cases colleges like herd in grain silos and herd it well I, yeah. I don't there might be some but i mean i think that uh you know the 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 the, po the poems that are on the page seem to give you space to, to do that, to digest them in a way that's not performative. In a yeah. way, you know what I mean? I think that there's, I don't know, like the, I, I've always been drawn to the poems on the page. Yeah. Um, but I think performance poetry or how somebody reads a poem is just as important. Yeah. And particularly if reading their own poem in their own voice. Yeah. Because I think a lot of, um, it's not easy to do well so how, how like coming into this out of this break how are right. you going how are you feeling about approaching the you know the 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 summer uh you know with the 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 reading series and how important do you think that it is to get back into the groove of it we're approaching it very safely yeah like i think the key word is safe and we, we, you know, we pushed it back. Typically, we do June, July, August. We pushed it back a month yeah. in hopes that um, more people are vaccinated, more people are feeling comfortable with the state of the world. Um, and I go back and forth. Like, I think that some days I'm like, the world is going to be okay. Yeah. And we're going to hug again and yeah. eat, a, eat a meal at a restaurant and all those things. And, um, and then other days I'm like, this is this isn't going to end well sort of thing or yeah. we're not going to it's going to be a while yeah um, it's, it's, it's already been a while but like yeah. i think that it's going to be longer and i think that with the series um we're gonna we're pulling out all the sort of precautionary measures to make it make people feel safe and welcome yeah um you know matt we're gonna still wear masks um unless you're performing we're gonna require masks and we're going to social distance. We're going to do all the things. Oh, wow. To make it, and then limit, limiting, limit the amount of people who can come. Wow. So we still don't have those numbers yet. Yeah. In my head, it's around 40 people. Yeah. And when in typical years past, it's been 80 to 120. Yeah. So um, we'll see. We'll, a we'll third, see. A third. A third of that. Yeah. Wow. So it'll be, um, I mean, I, I think that at the same time, it's important for it to continue in some capacity. And not to say in years past that when the performers are on the stage that people aren't there with them, yeah. fully engaged, because I think it's it's one of those rare spaces where you go to a poetry reading and there's always sort of something else going on. Like, yeah. you're, you know, whether you're in a, in a, in a conference hall or a, you know, university. Yeah, oh, hey, there's that person over there. I yeah, I'm gonna to talk to them, exactly. I should, you know see what's going on when you're you know? in the when you're in the grain silo it's you're you're sort of their full attention yeah whether you want to be or not in some cases yeah because any sound that you make it's reverberating it reverberates so much that um everybody looks at you with the side eye <laughs> so yeah no it'll be i mean i think that the other thing um i've been considering about it is like last year we canceled just because we didn't know. Yeah. And I know that, you know, Torn Space did their thing and they did it well. Yeah. But I still wanted it to be in Marine A. I still wanted that inside experience. Inside experience and sort yeah. of the, the looking up yeah. for people and the performers and for them to use that space as their stage um, versus out here, which we could also do it out here and stuff, but it's a different, it's a different reading. And it's a, a different cases, vibe. It's a different experience. You know. And I think that the readings will hopefully also begin to instill a certain amount of hope mm. in returning to something. And I think that that hope, you know, being delivered as a poem, as a song, checking out some local art, you know, mm -hmm. um, those will all 
help people, I think, yeah. heal from this time. And, um, you know, in a lot of ways, what better to turn to yeah. than poems? 